My, uh, it was pretty frightening. <laughs> my, my horror story was in the uh, live on stage. Uh, I, I probably people ask what's like the most embarrassing thing that ever happened. Uh, I always come back to this one for some reason. I was actually playing guitar in Michael McDonald band for about a year on the road as, as Mike's guitarist and I enjoyed that very much. And we were doing a show in Irvine, California with Kenny Loggins and, um, oh gosh, I don't have to shorten the story, but uh, Kenny had asked Michael, can you shorten your set just a little bit and, and, and maybe cut David Pack's guitar solo at the beginning of Taking It to the Streets? I used to come out, and it was my moment when I could do two minutes of just blazing guitar, and then the downbeat of, you know, you don't know me, but I it would come in. And um, so I told Mike at the sound check, I said, Kenny would like me to cut my guitar solo uh, to keep it a little tighter in the show. And, and Mike said, he, was, he, wasn't, he wasn't too pleased with that comment. And so he said, David, I want you to go out tonight, and I want you to do a four-minute guitar solo. <laughs> This is a, a true story. And I'm like, okay. And it had rained that day, so there was, there was uh, still residue and water. And, uh, log, uh, anyway, my guitar was not working right with the Irvine Meadows and the rain and the wireless was terrible. So I asked Kenny if I could borrow one of his guitars. And he said, sure, this is a brand new Stratocaster I've just had painted. You know where this is headed, right? <laughs> and I, so I used Kenny's beautiful turquoise painted, custom painted Stratocaster, went out to, to start taking it to the streets, um, and, and Mike McDonald also said, not only do I want you to do a four minute solo, I want you to go out in the house, and just, you know, and just go for it, so I, I went out in the house, and I'm blazing away on the opening of tape, you know, my guitar thing, I'm looking up at the stage, and I see Kenny looking at me like, <laughs> hey, like, what's going on here? <laughs> And I'm thinking, you know, I better get back up on that high stage. The stage was about eight feet high, and, and I, I came running through the audience, and there was one chair to step on to get back up to this eight-foot high stage. And I, I, I jumped up on the chair. I'm still playing my solo. I got to the edge of the stage, and I started teetering, going, back, going backwards. And there was a, a, guard, a, a policeman who pushed me forward to keep me from falling backward. Of course, what happened is I went head over heels and tripped with the guitar, and I gashed Kenny's guitar. <laughs> and, I, and at the end, but of course, once I fell flat on my face, I came up and played a guitar note and then held my hand up in the air. Like, <laughs> and the audience went into applause, but it, I handed Kenny back his guitar afterwards with this terrible... Uh, my belt buckle gashed it all the way across the back. And, uh, anyway. I'll never forget that. That was, and I looked up from the ground as I fell, and I looked up and I saw Michael McDonald looking at me, just going like, "I, I can't believe this is happening." Anyway, that was that's Mike.